In this video, I'm going to go over the instructions to bring up the shutter count for Olympus OMD and pen cameras. Additionally, this should work for compacts made from around 2009 onwards and the TG5. I also believe this should work for the OM system cameras. Start with the camera off and to begin you're going to want to hold down the menu button and turn the camera on. Keep the menu button held down until the camera is on all the way. Then you can release the menu button and press it again. Now that we're in the menu we're going to want to come down to the setup menu which has the wrench and go over to the screen color temperature and brightness option. Here you can press OK or to the right to enter it. Now you want to press right, info, OK and a screen should come up that displays the model number for your camera. In this case I have an OMD EM1, the original, and that's why you see the EM1 there. Now we're going to press up, down, left, right, shutter button, up. Page 1 should appear. This is one of the four pages that you can navigate to. When you press right, you'll come to page 2. This will display the shutter count on the first line. It is marked with the R. That can be a different letter combination on a different camera body. If that's all you want to see, you can turn the camera off right now, and when you turn it on, it will operate normally. But here's what some of the other letters mean. S is the number of times a flash has been fired. Uh, C is unknown. U is the ultrasonic filter count. V is unknown. And B is the number of shots taken with IBIS. Pressing down will bring up page 3. This should show the camera serial number on the top line. And then the next one is, I believe, related to information about the CPU and date of manufacturer. I'm not sure what the CSD is. And over to the right is a blank page with just a D and a colon. Maybe it's an unhappy, sad face. And that's it. You can turn the camera off, turn it back on, and everything is back to normal. Now I will go through the same process with the Olympus Penlite EPL6. This is a little bit different because the buttons are placed in a different area and they're a little harder to reach. So I'll turn it on, release, press menu, we can see that the menu system definitely looks different, but go down to the setup menu with the wrench and go into there. And we have a picture of the beautiful camera we just checked. So now we want to go right, info, OK. And there we can see the EPL6. So up, down, left, right, shutter button up and page one so if we go over to the right here is page two which displays the shutter count and you can see that the menu looks a little bit different than the EM1 but the shutter count is still listed on the first line after the R and it's 2107 and there's down and over to the right this actually has something I don't know what these numbers mean but turning the camera off and then back on again, and it's back to normal. 